Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations and today's video. Today we're going to be making one of these um, name placemat holders. Uh, these are made from the polystyrene um, cone, the mini Santa hats and one of the variations of the memo holders, all of which are available from my store, G's Embellishment Emporium. There'll be a link for it below in the description box and also in the comments. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put our little hat on our polystyrene form and then with a pen I'm going to just roughly draw a line where the hat comes to. Now I'm just using the uh, silver glitter pen which is also available from my store but you could use any pen I've used I used a black burrow on that one um, so I'm just going to do that and then working out where the front of my the front of Santa's going to be I'm going to draw a space for his face now I'm going to do a kind of curvy edged rectangle and I'm going to put his eyes there and his nose and then we're going to do leave a little space for a mouth so I'm just doing that I'm just going to create a mouth space here okay now I need to leave all that um, secure because the next part involves using gesso now I am going to put a very thick as you can see all this here this is just gesso so I'm just going to paint very thickly and I'm going to do it in a dabby motion to get the texture of Santa's beard and I'm going to go all around the um, polystyrene cone form in this manner. Very thick application. Because this is so thick, it does take a while to dry. So what I would recommend is that once you've done this portion, I would recommend that you leave it to dry for 24 hours. remember you need to put you need to put you know lots on and do it really thick and make sure you peak the um, applications the dabs to give Santa his beard and I'm just going to come in onto his face and mouth area Okay, so I am going to let this dry and then we'll come on to the next stage. Okay, crafters, so this is now dry. And the next thing we need to do is we need to mix up some paint. Now I don't have any pink paint, so what I tend to do is I just tend to mix some of my red and white paint together. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a... I wouldn't say skin flint when it came to things like that, but I think I tend to I tend to think to myself, what's the point of buying pink paint when I can make it? That's my kind of reasoning. So I've just got some of the, this um, uh, white gesso, and I'm going to make up a nice pinky colour for Santa's face. So let's bring over Santa's face and we are going to paint within the space we left that we drew on here. And the good thing about the fact that I've made up my own pink paint is I can also use the red that I have here for Santa's nose. And I'm going to use a bit of that for his lips also. But I'm also going to bring over, I'm also going to use the Mod Podge for his eyes 
and to fill up the space around his lips. Nice big eyes for Santa. little white down in his um down where his uh, nose is okay and then what I did for his his eye I used one of these tiny little these tiny little gems and I'm going to put one of those while the paint is wet I'm going to put that in the center for his eye and I should always use my tweezers but I never remember that I have them <laughs> okay let's try again so oh there we go okay I'm going to pop that into the center and then as that dries that will solidify and keep that gem in place okay now it comes to choosing your memo holder now I have the heart shape the lollipop and the alligator clip now I used an alligator clip in the previous one so I'm just going to use that I've made a small hole in the hat and I don't even glue these hats on I don't even bother gluing the hats on okay so that's there and then I've got the hole in the polystyrene ready and I'm just going to drop down the Santa hat and like I said I'm not even going to glue the Santa hat into place because it really doesn't need it push down the memo holder and then with a dab of glue I'm going to have the top of the hat bend over slightly. And there we have them. If any of your um, pen work shows through, just go over it again with some white paint. And then the last thing is to get hold of some glitter and some Mod Podge, or if you're like me, you're lucky enough to have this glitter glue. And I'm going to smother all these white areas and the face once it dries. I'm going to smother this all with the uh, this iridescent glitter glue, just to give him a lovely seasonal smile. Could you imagine these done with the bigger polystyrene trees as a table centerpiece? I think it would look absolutely just really whimsical and very cute. Really, really cute. I will be using these on my dining table this Christmas. But there we go. So that's how we make the oh let me do some let me do some rosy cheeks so just in the corners here i'm going to give him some rosy cheeks there we go yeah that's perfect there we go and that's using the polystyrene trees the memo clips and the hats all available from G's Embellishment Emporium. Thank you very much for joining me crafters and I will see you again in more Christmas craft. Take care now. Bye bye.